station use zone two for Bob. You can turn the NPC off. We need to do some ground commanding. We'll let you know when you can turn it back on. Okay, NPC is going off. Growing ever larger in the field of view of the end effector camera. And now from the truss cameras, you can see the relative uh, proximity of the H2 transfer vehicle to the uh, latching end effector of the uh, Canadarm2, about four and a half minutes away from arriving at the capture point. Once again, uh, once we reach that capture point, just nine meters away uh, between uh, the HTV and the uh, Canadarm2, we'll pause for about 15 minutes and await for the opening of the capture window with grapple expected at about 2.50 p.m. Central Time. Station Houston 2 for Bob. We have NPC video back, although it flickers about once every 15 seconds. And you have that even with the uh, NPC unit powered off? Yeah, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Do you want me to leave it off? Stand by. Station Houston on two for Bob. It turns out the video we're seeing is not actual real downlink, but a frame stuck over from the transition. So we do need you, you to turn the MPC back on. It works. The MPC uh, is that multi protocol converter, basically the H, the high definition downlink system uh, from the station that uh, is providing uh, the computer overlay view uh, for Frank DeWinna as he uh, monitors uh, robotics and H. TV systems during the final phase of this approach for grapple. In Houston on two for Bob. Now we see the MPC packet, so we don't see videos. Can you check if the camcorder's on? Uh, 
and Genesis is Frank for video. We are doing another complete power cycle. Copy, Frank. Thanks. The visiting vehicle officer reports that we now have arrived at the capture point, just nine meters or 30 feet separating the HTV and Canada Arm 2. And Houston Station on 2 for HTV, we see CP holds. We see it as well, we're checking. Station Houston on 2 for Frank, we are ready for step 19 decimal 1 only. Copy, ready for step uh, 19 decimal 1 only. The series of procedures that Frank DeWinna is uh, sending commands through the hardware control panel or command panel uh, in the Destiny Laboratory essentially confirms uh, the HTV systems and confirms that the HTV is controlling within what is called the uh, inner capture volume, essentially the corridor uh, for uh, the correct orientation of the cargo craft relative uh, to the end effector of the Canadarm2. Two for HTV, we confirm CP hold, FRGF is within the ICV on both camera views. Copy all, thanks. That call from Frank DeWinna confirming that the grapple fixture that you see here on the side of the H2 transfer vehicle is now aligned with the latching end effector at the end of the Canadarm 2. Once it is uh, berthed and bolted in place to the earth-facing port of Harmony, the HTV's uh, hatch will be opened tomorrow afternoon, enabling uh, the crew to begin to empty its contents, uh, some five tons of cargo. The HTV will remain attached to Harmony until November 1st. HTV, FRGF step has been enabled. You have a go for step 19.2. That's our copy, uh, Janice. Uh, 19 decimal 2 is in work, and we see good lights on the HCP. Excellent, thanks. Flight Director Dana Weigel uh, informing. Uh, we are ready for HTV capture. Copy, Frank. We're taking the pole on the ground. We'll be uh, polling the team here to get a go for grapple a short time from now. I've uh, power cycled the MPC unit and the camcorder twice. Uh, still no joy. I only have two green LEDs. Uh, with your concurrence, I'd like to power off the MPC one more time and uh, redo all the connections. We agree with that, Bob. After that, we can give up. I think it's done most of what we needed anyway, because at this point, I think you guys can tell whether or not HTV is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, just one more attempt. Thanks. Station on two for HTV. We're expecting uh, a go no earlier than 1944. That call from Capcom, uh, Janice Foss, indicating that uh, we'll be standing by here for the next 12 and a half minutes or so, assessing uh, all of the HTV systems before the opening of the capture window. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, the lead Japanese uh, flight controllers uh, at SCUBA, the SCUBA Space Center, who uh, are in control of the HTV, uh, report that they are go for capture. We copied for the uh, reason for the, the capture. Uh, however, we would like to uh, get some status on our camera view on Monitor 2. Yep, we're working it. 